Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I'm going to take you into my online GED course lesson that I taught this week, this week, the week of July 17th, uh, 2017. In this week's lesson, we covered percent word problems and graph and picture problems. Remember, on the GED test, you don't have success by simply knowing how to do the skill but you also need to know how to interpret the word problems. So in this video, I'm going to give you a little uh, snippet uh, of the full lesson uh, that I actually taught this week in my online GED course. And just as a reminder to you, uh, the online GED course is available for you to sign up. You can sign up at any time. It is a rolling class. You don't have to wait for any particular date to register. The link to sign up for my online course is below. If you think that you can uh, benefit from having classes posted uh, every January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and in August we'll be posting more. And if you think you can benefit from my core math lessons that are listed here, if you think that you could jump into lesson one and um, follow along with the lesson objectives that I lay out for you here, and then come down here and see an actual official GED practice test problem, and then come down here and work in a course where you would just download uh, uh, a worksheet here and then watch a video here. Um, if you think you could do that, uh, learn from that video, and then at the end of that video, uh, go ahead and um, scroll down and take a practice test uh, that's right here. If you think you can work through 13 lessons just simply watching a video, um, doing a worksheet, and then taking a practice test at the end, and if you can follow that for 13 lessons, you can have success in my course. But for right now, I want you to go ahead and, um, and watch uh, a little snippet from this week's online GED course lesson. Again, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. If you want to get more of my videos as I bring them almost weekly, then go ahead and subscribe. And then that way uh, YouTube will send you an email when a new video is ready to be watched. Thank you. So this first one here, uh, number one uh, here on the screen says Sam paid 6250 for a furniture set originally uh, that originally cost $11,150. So he paid $6,250 for a furniture set that cost $11,150 originally. The question is, what percent off the original purchase did Sam save? And so, um, you know how I like to work. I like to just, just note the data. Um, so we're going to just come up here and put a P. And so Sam paid $6,250. Um, and then the original cost, I'm just going to put that as OC, uh, was 11150 So those are the two facts that we have. And then we want to always break it down, the question. The question is simply, what phrase appears before that question mark there? That's uh, very uh, important um, that, that we always be focused on that little mark there the question mark because that is what kind of guides us and gives us what we need to know and what we're shooting for. Um, so the question is, what percent off did he save? So I'm just going to put percent save. Okay. So now we have the data from the problem. And then, of course, here we have our possible answers. Uh, okay. So now we have to look at, we know that he paid uh, 6250 The original cost was 11150 And the question is, what percent did he save? And see, this is where you got to be reading closely. And this is where the GED uh, type questions can kind of trip us up is because we've been given what he paid and we've been given the original cost. But the question asked something totally different from what we were given. The question asks about what percent did he save, okay? One of my favorite types of GED questions because it is one of those things that really represents 
close reading, which means really reading for understanding and really drawing out uh, what is being stated here. So so again, we've been given paid an original cost, but the question is about what he saved. So if we want to know how much he saved, we have to take a step. And so that step is subtracting what he paid from the original cost, because that will give us the dollar amount, at least, that he saved. So 11150 minus 6250 is going to give us 4900 OK, so now this forty nine hundred here represents the amount that he saved. OK, so now when we get asked the question, what percent of the original purchase price that he saved? Now we can do it. So if you know anything about percents and you've been working with me for any period of time, you know that we're going to talk about part. Uh, over base. Equals rate. Thank uh you. -huh.